In Grandma 3 version 1.8 we added some store modes which will be very helpful for your programming workflow. So let's have a look at the store settings. You know how we can reach them. We open the command section and we press and hold the store key. In the store settings you can now see that we added some data sources. So we added the output. That means you can immediately store the output if you select this one. And we added DMX as a data source, so you can store the real DMX values. That of course includes incoming DMX values as well. So imagine a situation where you want to reprogram a show file maybe from a different platform. You just send DMX in to your Grandma 3 console, you get the DMX values in, you select the data source DMX and you can store the DMX values to your queues and sequences or presets. So this is an easy way to convert show files or to reprogram show files from different platforms. Therefore, the data source DMX is very, very helpful. What else did we do? We implemented store look. So store look is now fully working. So that means if you enable store look, you can really store the look which is on stage. So you just have a look at your stage and you will really store what you see. How does it work? Let's have a look at the scene we created here in our 3D. You can see that we have some fixtures here in the fixture sheet with the dimmer open and we have some attributes of course in our programmer and we have some fixtures as well. So our front truss where we selected some attributes before but afterwards we turned it to zero. So they should not be part of our look. Now we just have to select an executor, a sequence. And what you could see here is that now for the fixtures where the dimmer value is bigger than zero, so we have an open dimmer value here, for example, all attributes are stored. So real the look we, what we see. And for the fixtures where we have a dimmer value of zero, so the fixtures 9 through 13, for example, the dimmer value is stored so that it at zero, but not the attributes. So you store really what you see, you get the look of your stage stored in your sequence and on your executor. So let's have a look like this. We clear the programmer and we run our sequence number two and we really get the look we stored with the store look option. One additional thing when we have a look at the store settings again, you can also combine store look together with all four selected. That is really helpful if you have a specific fixture selection, you're working with 10, 12 or some fixtures, you just turn them on, set some attributes, some of them you turn off and then you really want to store the look of this selection. So all of these fixtures which are selected will also follow the rules of store look. So all dimmer values bigger than zero will be stored, including all the attributes and all fixtures with a dimmer value of zero, they will just store the dimmer value zero. That's how store look works. So have a look at the different store settings now with version 1.8 and happy programming.